As we travel the world full time, we've chosen destinations with a theme and for a specific purpose. Tokyo, a mega city of approximately 32 million people, was all about understanding and embracing the pop culture, which is in stark contrast to anything experienced in our home country, Australia. A bustling metropolis of energy, activity, sights, sounds and scents. We wanted to savour every moment, yet we're aware that with so much to see and do, it would be easy to skim the surface and not really appreciate what we were seeing. We wanted more than simply to observe, we wanted to understand. We wanted to connect with not only what Tokyo's pop culture is about, but why it's about that. To better appreciate what we were seeing, we booked a family tour with Context Tour. We wanted our children to enjoy their Tokyo experience, and so we chose the tour Life as a Child in Tokyo. This led us on a journey of learning and experiencing firsthand how children in Tokyo spend their childhood. From the Harajuku scene to gaming arcades, manga, anime, may cafes and understanding the origins of why Japanese paint faces on their food. Our seven days in Tokyo was not nearly enough with so much to see, do and eat. And we've already vowed that Japan, in particular Tokyo, is a destination we must revisit as a family. Where are we off to Miss Ava? We are off to Japan! Tokyo, Japan, here we come. Andrew's just in that taxi with Ava up ahead. Girls, you can hop in. You guys hop in first and I'll tell the taxi driver. You go just go in. Alani first, Ava in the middle, and then Paige in order of size. Hello, konnichiwa. There's an elevator button, that's it girls. You press that and we'll go up. Oh, that's what we're supposed to be doing eating somewhere here and we have no idea. We totally went to the wrong place and they were closed and we don't know where to eat and then we couldn't converse with the owner who's explaining and now he's gonna take us to where we're supposed to be. Look! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, how cool is this place? So apparently these pancakes take, well they took 25 minutes to make, it's a special kind of pancake. I don't know if we're allowed to record in here, we might get told off soon. But the shopping in Tokyo Plaza is so exciting, everything's so different. My girls are in heaven right now with all these like really, really, really very Asian like jewelry like you know how they like really cutesy things that's what my girls are loving look who was able to join us he couldn't before my, my. he's got nothing to say for himself no. <laughs> in search of food yet again the man needs to eat we have no idea about this place but we've seen it a few times just around the corner from where we are we thought why not why not check it out oh my gosh I know nothing I understand nothing and I love it I don't know what anything is either stuff like yeah I mean, look at this I don't know, something that looks sweet and then you hope for the best. The last time I felt like this, sorry about the jiggling camera, I'm walking really fast to catch up with the family head, but the last time I felt like this was in Paris. The very first time I landed in Paris, I was just like a kid in a candy store. I love Tokyo. I, I don't know if I'm premature in saying that. I've only been here 24 hours, yes, granted, but I've not felt like this about a place in a long time. It is just this Everything's new and so unfamiliar and such an adventure like even going to the toilet I don't know what the heck button to press every toilet I go to is different I understand no language the people are so polite the city is alive It's beautiful. There are these pockets that just spring up unexpectedly You just turn a corner and think heck who thought to put that thing be it a restaurant or a I don't know just it's 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God, this is really embarrassing. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
to be able to talk about what influ influences culture, you need to be able to recognize the culture to begin with. So we're doing an exercise which is compare and contrast what's the same and what's different to back home. So we're listing all the things that are the same that we have in common and we're also listing all the things that are different. So, for instance, we've got things like the obvious ones, which are the toilets are completely different, the day spas for your butt, <laughs> with lots of options to press. Um, there's other things like they have faces on their buses, like electronic faces. Uh, what else did you guys come up with? What else did you guys come up with? Butt warming. Yes, the toilets have warming, warming as well. What else, Ava? Okay, other than the toilets, we've talked about the toilets. What else have we noticed that's different about... Yep. What else? Taxis. There are more taxis. Um, they're crepes. They, like, they make crepes and they swirl them around and they put like, things inside. Like, yeah. Really yeah. So the way they do their food is quite different. What else did you notice, Paige? Yeah, the whole Japan looks like Pinterest. Say whole what? Whole Japan. Yeah, this looks like Pinterest. Order, you can order food through a vending machine. You can order food from a vending machine. Thank you. Wow, amazing. Look at that jiggle. Jiggle again, babe. Yes. Please take up Why did I decide? That is tiny. What an interesting mix. Why did I decide to go so tiny? Come to our final arcade, which is um, which is basically the Athens is showing us where you dress up, you choose your costume, and then you take photos of yourself, which is a Japanese cultural thing to do. So they've got like all these photo booths that change your appearance. I'll show you guys. This is all meets, meets, meets. This is like you go in here and you have your photo booth. Um, who's me? Which one am I? That yellow thing. Am I the yellow thing? Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, no, was Andrew. Where's Andrew? Andrew. <laughs> Lani. This is the coolest ever. Let's do what's looking in there, and Daddy's doing that. That was worse. And then you get to graffiti your pictures afterwards. So cute! 
Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So we're about to be taken to a maid cafe. A maid cafe. <laughs> a maid. Okay, we've got to follow. It was, we're going to a maid cafe. Uh, we could have done an animal or a maid, but we've chosen a maid cafe. This is meant to be an age appropriate one for the kids, so we shall see. It's the nose. What's this? I don't know. Ava, how's yours? Let me have a look, baby. This is our walk in the morning and the evening. Our walk home from the station. Our station is literally right there. And then if we walk up this street, follow that light there. And we're off again, on foot and en route to dinner. Yet another night we're going for ramen because it's so good. It's so good, it's so good. It's about 7.30 maybe quarter to eight in the evening. Tokyo is beautiful. Bustling and beautiful in a really unconventional way. It's a different kind of beauty. But the fact that this mega city works the way that it does is so impressive. People are so polite. Um, they just, they're really considerate and it makes sense because culturally you can see why they've got the rules that they do. Like how could a mega city function if everybody was in it just for themselves? Just, you know, wanting to do what they wanted to do when they want to do it. So for example, there's no talking permitted. Well, it's not that it's illegal because it's not illegal, but culturally it is a faux pas to be talking on your mobile phone if you're on the train. You don't do it. Nobody does it. And the theory behind it is that nobody wants to hear your business and just, you know, minimize yourself. If you want to use your phone, you're allowed to use your phone. You just can't be talking on it because it's just, it's inconsiderate. And I really like that. It works so well. I mean, I know that there are, you know, complexities that that people talk about, but every country and every city has has challenges and has problems, but it is so impressive how they work. I'm really, really loving it. Dinner for tonight. <laughs> Five to eleven, sorry, five past eleven. We'll say good night. We will see you in the morning. It's been an amazing day. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog for the day. We'll see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed or something thereabouts tomorrow morning.